that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Life is in Jesus Christ. Life begins at Calvary. Life begins with God. And without God, there is no life. Satisfaction of God is through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, who is the gift of God. The gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. It's so simple to believe. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no other salvation. There is no other means of going to heaven. It's not by a religion. It's not by what you can do. The finished work, the salvation of God is through Jesus Christ alone. And without Jesus Christ, there is no heaven. There is no means of pleasing God. That without Jesus Christ, you will die and you will end up in a place called hell. In the absence of God. Because in the absence of God is you have rejected God. And rejecting God is to reject the Lord Jesus Christ. And to reject the Lord Jesus Christ is to reject God because God is Jesus. And Jesus is God. And into, into, into heaven, God's throne, God's abode. You must get to heaven by God's means, God's way. You're not going to get into heaven where God is by way of man and his philosophy and his education and his religion. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God-approved. You cannot and you will not ever please God by doing what is a rebellion against God. Jesus said of himself, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that's the words of Jesus. That's not me. Please do not put no faith in me. Do not trust in me. Trust and obey the word of God. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There is no means of going to heaven. There is no satisfaction of God outside of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way. And without Jesus Christ, there is no way. There is no acceptance of the Father. But through Jesus Christ. There is a possibility of you knowing of going to heaven. For the Bible said, These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And to know eternal life is to know Jesus Christ.
You cannot hope yourself into heaven. You can't wish your way into heaven. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to get to heaven. Your eternal life rests upon what you do with the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And when you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ of the Bible, You have chosen to reject. Thank you, sir. You have chosen to reject God. Because God's way, God's means of heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, there is no going to heaven. And one may say, well, I will be good. And the Bible says, there is none that doeth good. You're going to try to do something. That the Bible says you cannot do. You are contradicting yourself. You are being hypocritical when you try what the Bible says you can never do. The means of salvation of going to heaven is not your goodness. It's the goodness of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the goodness of all good. Because Jesus Christ is God. And God is holy. And God is righteous. So he is gooder than your best good on your good day. God is holy. So God is above good. He is righteous. And there are people that will come up to us and they will say, I am good. And I know how to ruin your day. I can say to you, biblically, your good is not good enough. It will never be good enough. When the Bible records in the Old Testament and in the New Testament by Solomon and by the Apostle Paul, there is nothing, there is no one that doeth good. And if you want to trust in goodness, to get you to heaven. You better trust in the gospel. Gospel means good news. You're not going to find good news on the media channel. You're not going to find the news to put forth the gospel of the good news. 
You're going to find the good news of Jesus Christ in the pages of the King James 1611 Bible. And the good news of Jesus Christ is that he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. And there is no access to God except by Jesus Christ alone. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, it didn't say go to church. It didn't say get baptized. It said to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Religion can't get you into heaven. Good works can't get you into heaven. Going to church can't get you into heaven. A baptism can't get you to heaven. And this is a Baptist preacher preaching to you. A Baptist preacher says church can't do it. Baptism can't do it. You can't do it. It's all done by Jesus. You see, the church is a body of believers. The church is not the salvation. It's those who are saved. Baptism is a public testimony of salvation. And yet, baptism is not the means of salvation. On April 25th, 1987, I met and believed on Jesus. I wasn't in church. I wasn't baptized. It was nothing I done that saved my soul. It was faith and belief in the finished work of Jesus Christ alone.